is our bus, uh, Taos. It's very similar to all the buses we have. That's for all you campers. On the driver's side, we have our connections for uh, city water and city power. This is a vent for the sink and the sink drains down under here. So there's a, a drain that will come down onto the ground here. These are all the places where you can connect if you just so desire. Let's take a look at the back of the car. There's a couple of things I want you to do in the engine bay if you can. Uh, every time you fill up with gas, we'd like to have you check our oil level. That is on this dipstick right here. You can see the notches. If it does need oil, you'll add oil here. We have topping up oil on that side of the engine bay. In case you run out of uh, energy in the battery, it's right here and we are gonna provide you with a set of jumper cables so you can get some help for yourself. And over here you'll find the tabletop for inside the vehicle. We've just got it stored here to keep it out of the way. It actually fits on a table leg inside. But in the cabinet over here, you'll find a set of curtains with snaps that will fit on the top of the window in front so you have full privacy. And then you'll also find a set of screen material that will fit over this opening so that you can have ventilation yet keep the bugs out. The gas cap is on this side and the gas cap key is typically the square one. When you open up the gas cap, leave the key in the gas cap, set it in a safe place so you can replace it. When you put the nozzle in, you have to lift it up so that the nozzle actually points downward. If you don't, it'll burble out, continually turn off the pump, and you just have a hard time. 91 octane gas only, please. We have the propane tank for the stove, and that is operated by turning this knob anti-clockwise to charge the lines, turn it clockwise to turn it off. We're gonna provide you with the propane so you don't need to fill that, but if you should run out, uh, fill it up, bring us a receipt, and we'll reimburse you. To light the stove to cook, once the propane bottle is turned on, push the knob in and rotate and light the burner. And it has two sources of water. Uh, if you're hooked up to city water, you'd use this spigot here. If you want to use the onboard water supply, you turn this red knob clockwise to turn it on, clockwise to turn it off. To replenish the onboard water supply tank, pour water in that hole. The kitchen cabinet contains everything you'll need to eat and cook with. There's flatware, cooking utensils, pots and pans, camp lantern, plates, bowls, cups, coffee maker, cutting boards, and mixing bowls. Here is the ice box, and there's more storage here, more storage here. There is a false floor inside it. You lift up that floor, and you'll look inside, you'll see a set of jumper cables. More storage here, lots of storage. Back seat will make into a bed. There is a catch on the seat here. You must push that in to lift up the seat and then grab the handles and pull it forward and you've got a bed. When you lift the seat back up, listen for a click. Hear the click? And that'll grab the seat and make it back into a chair. And underneath we have a hose and a power cable, a first aid kit, various other items and plenty of more storage room. Uh, the seat belts are down here as well for the back seat. They need to be retrieved each time you make the bed. Just reach through the crack and you can pull the seat belts out. Here is the table leg. So you can place the table here for dining. To raise the roof to get extra headroom and access to the upper bunk, you have to pull this knob out. Pull it out, to lift up, lift up the top as far as you can by hand and then grab this bar and lever it forward, snapping it in place. Then you can open up the windows and get ventilation and light. Makes it pretty nice. The bed 
opens up by flopping this panel forward. Got a nice fit. Let me show you the housekeeping procedures to close the top. First of all, shut all the windows. Make sure they're zipped nice. Grab the bar and pull it back. And then just rest the top on your head. It's not heavy. Reach over and pull the fabric in up over the top of the hinge on either side. Making sure that there's no fabric hanging out of the clamshell. And then be careful that you don't close the top on the latch here. Otherwise you'll put holes in the fabric and we'll have to charge you a lot of money. The front seat swivels around. Let me show you how that works. Reach into the front of the seat, you'll see a wire bale. Push the wire bale down and rotate the seat on its turntable and it'll snap into position in the back. Now you have a nice uh, little living room. Before you drive off, you need to return the seat to its original position. Again, push the wire bale down, rotate the seat on its turntable and wait for it to snap in to position in the front. In the glove box, you'll find our owner's papers in a plastic bin. There'll, you'll also find a small flashlight and a place to write your memories down and a cord for iPod. We also have a power jack, 12 volt, and the radio. Both operate without the key being in the ignition. So you can turn the radio on, you can charge your iPod without turning on the car. The key goes in the ignition to light the headlights. The headlight switch is over here, the turn signals are here. The high beam is this switch as well, so tap up to go to high beam, tap up again to go to low beam. Windshield wipers. The emergency flasher is here. Emergency brake is here. This switch is not operable, so we'll just ignore that one. There are three emergency lights that we need to be aware of. One is the parking light, parking brake light, that should be off when you're driving. And then two lights on the dashboard that should be off when you drive as well. So they go on when you first start the car. After you've started the car, they will go off. If those lights go on while you're driving, you should give me a call. If you'd like fresh air to come into the car, pull the blue knob down. If you'd like heat to come into the cab, pull this knob down. If you'd like to defrost to come to the windshield, pull this knob down and this knob down. This car will start in park or neutral. Just turn the key till it starts. You don't have to press on the gas. It's fuel injected, so it'll figure it out itself. And that's about it. So we're anticipating your arrival. Be safe until then.